ARCHICAD, through this workflow, can collaborate with many MEP applications. Once again, if there is a protocol in place between firms about liability, the imported MEP elements may be modified in ARCHICAD to speed up the process of coordination and clash detection because these imported MEP elements remain parametric. ARCHICAD has been optimized to exchange intelligent information with the major engineering solutions around the world. Recognizing diversity, ARCHICAD also exchanges intelligent information with local engineering solutions, provided that these are IFC compatible. The workflow is user-friendly, optimized, and we can track changes. Let's proceed and present to you how designers can collaborate with engineers and consultants from other firms. Again, our team is located in different parts of the world, and now they will be using their own native applications to connect to and coordinate the respective BIM models. Let's proceed and switch to the screen of Tibor, who is using ARCHICAD in Budapest. He will present how architectural designers can establish an open design collaboration with MEP engineers. The work and design of the MEP engineers is greatly affected by the use and function of the spaces in the architectural design. This design information is included in ARCHICAD's zones. In this colorful 3D view, you can visualize all the 3D zones created by the architects using different colors. The architectural designer carefully specified the function of each room in the building. For instance, let's select a 3D zone. Here you can see the zone stamp displaying all the most important geometrical characteristics as well as the function of the selected room. Let's proceed with the filtering of the design. This time we would like to send to the MEP engineer only one typical floor of the building. We will continue and export this floor as an IFC file. This time we will use DDS CAD MEP IFC Translator for the file export. We will send the exported IFC file to Stian who will continue the demonstration with DDS CAD. Let's switch to Stian Tonheim's screen in Oslo, Norway. Data Design System is located in Norway. They have been developing 3D CAD solutions for the building industry since 1984. DDS has 15,000 users worldwide who are served by wholly owned companies, dealers and partners in Germany, Benelux, Austria, Sweden and Great Britain among other countries. With more than 60 employees, DDS is the largest MEP CAD software house in Europe. First, Stian will show us how to import the ARCHICAD building to his project. As shown earlier, due to relevant information between ARCHICAD and Tecla, there is relevant information that MEP planners need, which is zones and spaces. The communication format here is also IFC. Here is all the necessary relevant information, such as project, site, building, floors, and zones, in addition to the building elements, windows, walls, slabs, and so on. After importing the building project, Stian sets the HVAC system type to VAC. He also sets criteria for airflow, people load, and calculates the rooms. This information will be transferred to the placed air terminals around the building. Now he will route out the ducts that are needed, only for a few rooms. He will end all his ducts with an air terminal in correct height. Next, he will copy his duct part and paste it to a few more rooms.
Let's have a visual check of the duct system before exporting the duct system to IFC. We will choose the Graphisoft MEP coordination settings so ARCHICAD users can edit the HVAC system. Let's switch back to ARCHICAD now. We will import the previously exported IFC file to the architectural model in an intelligent manner. First, let's take a quick look at the Graphisoft MEP modeler. This is an integrated MEP tool within ARCHICAD. MEP Modeler allows ARCHICAD users to intelligently design and model MEP systems within ARCHICAD. It works with parametric 3D objects. For instance, here you can see that all the duct, pipe, and cable trace systems used by MEP Modeler are fully parametric. To establish a smooth and smart workflow with MEP engineers, we must import their work to the architectural design in an intelligent manner. Now let's proceed and merge the IFC model created in DDS CAD. Here is the IFC file that Stian created earlier. Let's choose the DDS CAD MEP IFC translator from the list. After merging the IFC file, let's switch to the 3D window. Again, we will switch to wireframe mode. All the architectural design elements are displayed in wireframe mode. The MEP elements are not yet visible, since they are all located on a specific layer that is set to be hidden by default. Let's show the layer that contains the imported MEP elements. Notice that this layer has the DDS CAD MEP extension. Here you can see the 3D MEP model created by Steon in DDS CAD MEP. Most important is that not only the geometry of the MEP system has been imported correctly to the architectural design, but that the MEP elements remain intelligent and parametric in ARCHICAD. For instance, let's select this individual duct system in the 3D view. You can see that all its elements have been converted to MEP modeler objects in ARCHICAD. They are using the very same parameters as they had in DDS CAD. None of the intelligence of these elements has been lost. Even the materials, fills, duct sizes, etc. have been converted properly. Throughout this live demonstration, you were able to see how to establish a true open collaboration between architectural designers using Graphisoft ARCHICAD and engineers using Tecla Structures, Autodesk Revit Structure, and DDS CAD MEP. ARCHICAD is an open solution and can collaborate with the best of breed in the various disciplines that come together in the design, development, analysis, construction, and management of a building. Graphisoft's ARCHICAD is an industry-first BIM solution. Graphisoft BIM Server is an industry-first client-server solution. And, best of all, it's an open platform. We hope that you enjoyed the show and will share the opinion of architects and engineers worldwide. ARCHICAD teamwork is easy to learn and fun to use. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this presentation.